from every country except those behind the Iron Curtain, thousands have come to Farnborough to see and buy the world's finest aircraft, all stamped British made. Some, like the torpedo carrying Western Wyvern Mark IV, are strictly for warfare. Modern helicopters come in all sizes, from the tiny Skeeter to the 13-seater Bristol 173. From the Vickers 508 to the Delta Wing Avro 707B, which doesn't look a lot different from its younger brother, the 707A. Dwarfing an Auster is the mighty Blackburn Universal Freighter, which, despite its huge bulk, can travel at 225 miles an hour and needs only a short runway to land. Its fuselage can carry a single-decker bus, and weapons can be dropped by parachute from its tail. Arrival to the Universal is the Bristol Freighter, which comes in for a lot of attention. But the flying's already started. First on the list, the Skeeter. Now the Bristol 173. Looks like a flying railway carriage, doesn't it? Watch it leave the station. Recently off the secret list is the luxury airliner, the Bristol Britannia. In the pilot's seat is Bill Pegg, the first man to fly the Brabazon. Now the Sprite Comet makes a rocket-assisted takeoff. Cat's Eyes Cunningham is at the controls. The RAF's first four-jet bomber, the Vickers Valiant, is next on the list. Here comes the Hawker Hunter, a single-seat fighter, followed by the plane with a skyscraper tail, the supersonic Gloucester Javelin. As the Valiant swoops low over the airfield, the giant ten-engined flying boat Princess makes a surprise visit. The Duke of Edinburgh flew in from Balmoral. And here's Bill Waterton flashing past in the Javelin. Test pilot John Derry starts to climb to break through the sound barrier in a de Havilland 110. But the real star of the show is the Flying Triangle, the new Avro 698 four-engine jet bomber. With the aircraft on show at Farnborough, our backroom boys have put Great Britain right out in front in world aviation.